As we know, the Federal Immigration Customs Enforcement has conducted raids in the Bay Area. Do you think they might target um, undocumented students that are actually under DACA? It's possible. With this administration, you never know. Yesterday, I learned information from multiple sources that there is potentially an ICE activity planned in the Bay Area that could be starting as soon as today. Recently, there has been a spike in immigration and customs enforcement rates in the Bay Area, and over 150 ICE arrests have been made. In early February, there was reported ICE activity on campus, one in particular in the Casa Zimbabwe co-op. This revelation has undocumented students on the edge. I sat down with Professor of Political Science M. Stephen Fish in order to gain perspective on this issue. Just a week ago, Trump actually issued a statement during a CNN broadcast. He issued a statement that if he actually took away all ICE agents away from California, California would be, quote, um, begging for help, unquote. And also, in a statement released on Thursday, um, ICE said that efforts by local politicians to shield uh, removal criminals, criminal aliens from immigration enforcement and has created another magnet for even more undocumented immigrants to enter the state. If, so if local politicians shield the undocumented immigrants. Is it going to create a magnet in California for people um, from other countries to actually immigrate here illegally? People emigrate for reasons that have to do with their own circumstances, their own political or economic circumstances. They don't just immigrate when the opportunity comes up. It takes a lot of you know, in, you know, engagement and a lot of energy to immigrate. It's a really big thing to leave your country and to, and to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And people usually do it because they have, you know, they see opportunities in the other country. Not because they feel like, uh, they're not, the calculation over whether you're going to get caught or not isn't really as big a deal. People will be expelled from the country multiple times and keep coming back. I'm a little skeptical about this idea of a magnet effect. Do you think it's a conflict based on federal law and state law because although California is a sanctuary state, um, the federal agency of ICE is actually conducting raids in California right now? So do you think it's a conflict there? There is potentially a conflict and this is a problem for a democracy because in a democracy for sure, really in any, in any country, but certainly in a democracy, when there's a conflict between federal law and local or state laws and local and state officials are refusing to enforce federal law or vice versa. That's potentially very problematic, and it's not a stable equilibrium point um, that makes much sense in legal terms.